Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions. On my channel, we get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven new class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to look at this um, question on adjustment computation. Right, good. Now we have a set of distances that we are observed. So we have a length from A to D, and then it was divided into three segments, and then observations were made five times right good now they say determine the adjusted distance of ad that's from a down to d from the following observations right good now we are using the observation equation method of least square adjustment so the first one is from a to b the second is from b to c the third is from c to d and then our fourth one is from a to c so if you look at a to c you are going to see that a to c as a b and b c right good and then the fifth one is from what from b to d so similarly b d also has what b c and what c d right good so now as observed these were the distances and then their representation right good so a b is 50.000 b c is 50.070 c d is 50.050 then a c which is a combination of a b plus what b c is what 100.09 right good then um, bd which is a combination of bc and cd is what 100.01 right good so these are the observations so now from the question we have five observations and then we have what three parameters by the three parameters we mean l1 l2 and l3 um l4 and l5 are also parameters however they can be gotten from what l1 l2 and l3 because um your l4 is actually l1 plus l2 and then your l5 is actually what l2 plus what l3 right good so that's why we have used them um, three parameters so now let's write down the equations so since we are using uh, the observation equation method so we are going to write down the equation in relation to the adjusted values and the errors that are in the observation right good now the fundamental premise of um, adjustment competition is that every um observation has a measure of error right good so we are trying to determine that um, value and then eliminate it to the barest minimum so for our l1 if we are trying to have the adjusted it will now be the observed plus the error that was observed right good now let's take this same um, delta as what the error that was observed so the l1 adjusted will simply be the l1 observed plus what the error so the l1 observed is what 50.000 plus the error so this error has one in it that indicates what the first length that was what that was um observed similarly l2 adjusted will now be the l2 observed plus the error so we have what 50.07 plus what d2 then we have what the l3 adjusted which will be the l3 observed plus what the error in three right good so the l3 observed is what 50.05 now if we come up to l4 remember that l4 is a combination of l1 and l2 so we have what l1 adjusted plus l2 adjusted which will now be l1 observed plus the error in one plus l2 observed plus the error in two right good so now we have two observations that make up one however on field they were actually observed as what um a to c right good but in right now our equation because of the relationship that it has we have introduced what l1 and l2 right good to be the imputes to give us what l4 right good so we have 50.00 plus 50.07 plus the error in one plus the error in two so now l4 will now have what two errors because it's having what two observations that what made up that first observation right good so if you add these two you are going to have 100.07 plus d1 plus d2 right good which is this plus this then finally we have our l5 the l5 is a combination of what two and three right good so we have the l2 adjusted plus the l3 adjusted so it will now be the l2 observed plus the error in two plus the l3 observed plus what the error in three so if we are trying to take like terms which is 
all the L's to one side and all the D's to the other side. So we have them um, 50.07 plus 50.05 as we already have them somewhere here, yeah, right? Good. So if you add these two together, you're supposed to have 100.120 plus what the d2 plus d3 which is the error in 2 plus error in 3 so going further we are going to have our a matrix which is what the coefficient matrix right the matrix of the coefficient so it's actually um, a matrix of m by n which is what the number of observations by the number of parameters so in our case which is 5 and 3 so we're having what a 5 by 3 matrix so we're having about 5 rows 1 2 3 4 5 and then we have about 3 columns which is 1 2 3 right good because these are some important um, fundamentals that needs to be appreciated as we proceed so the five columns we have sorry the five rows that we have are indications of what the number of observation and then the three columns that we have are indication of what the number of parameters we have right good so now how do we populate this um this matrix if we come up to our equation the equations that we have written if you look at equation one equation one has d1 which we told you is um we are using it to represent our error right good so it means that for equation one we told you the rows represent what the equations and then the columns represent what the parameters so if we look at equation one we are only having what this d1 which is what the parameter right good so if we come here d1 would have one which means yes it is present then there is no d2 there is no d3 so we have zero zero representing d2 and d3 respectively if we come to equation 2 we don't have d1 but we have d2 and we don't also have d3 so if we come here d1 will be 0 d2 will be 1 and then d3 will be 0 right good because if you look at equation 2 we only have d2 therefore we are only going to have d2 for what the second line right good which is indicated using 1 right similarly if you come to equation 3 you only have d3 which means you don't have d1 and d2 so you also come up here d1 is 0 d2 is 0 and then d3 is 1 right good now if you come up to equation 4 which is this part now you have d1 and d2 without having d3 so we have what d1 represented by 1 d2 represented by 1 and then d3 having zero because we don't have what d3 are finally we come to what equation 5 which is what l5 we don't have d1 but we have what d2 and d3 right good so we have d1 to be zero d2 one and then d3 one right good so please if you miss it at any point we always advise you pause you rewind and you're going to get a full gist now similarly we have another matrix that we are going to introduce which is what the l matrix right good so now the l matrix is a matrix of the computed values minus the observed values right good and it's a matrix of m by one m is five which is the number of observation by one so we're having what a five by one matrix so we have one two three four five that's about five rows and then just a single column right good now what do we mean by the computed values minus the observed values now by the computed values if you come up to our equation when we add just um, d1 so it's now be 50 minus 50 right good because the computed and the observed we are actually the same because there is no operation that happened here similarly for what um the second line we still have 50.07 minus 50.07 the third line we have 50.05 minus 50.05 however when we come to the fourth line we now have from our computed we have 100.07 however which is um, 100.07 meters right good however from the observed we add what 100.09 so this is where you're now going to have 100.07 because it is computed by computed is what you got here minus the observed which is what 100.09 so if you do the subtraction you are going to have minus 0.02 right good so the first three because the values are the same and they are not depending on anything they are all 
zeros however this one which l2 sorry l4 depended on l1 and l2 now has what a different value for their sum compared to the value that was observed right good so we have 100.07 then we have 100.09 then finally we have what 100.12 which is the computed minus the observed of what 100.01 are we together so if you do 100.12 minus 100.01 you are going to have 0 0.100 right good so this is how you populate your a matrix and this is how you populate what your m matrix then finally this is the formula we are going to use the formula for the residual will now be um a transpose a inverse multiplied by a transpose l right good now we are going to proceed on excel but um, we have actually written out some of the values which we got from what from the computation using excel right now the process will be split into different sections because um, we have a transpose we have a transpose multiplied by a we have a transpose multiplied by a inverse then we also have a transpose multiplied by l and then we now multiply everything together good so we are finally on excel and then we are going to wrap things up so we have our a matrix which is the m by n matrix and then we also have our l matrix which is the m by one matrix right good so the first thing is for us to have the transpose of what a right good so by transpose it means you're changing your rows to columns and then you're changing your columns to rows so in this our a matrix we're having about five rows so we have one two three four five and then we have about three columns which is one two three therefore in our transpose we are going to have about three rows and then five columns right good so we have one two three to be the rows and then we have one two three four five to be what the column right good so we have equal to transpose so it converts a vertical range of cells to a horizontal range or vice versa right good so we have this so we now highlight the array we need then control shift enter good so we have um, successfully transposed what our a matrix to be this then the next thing is what a transpose a right good which means your a transpose multiplying a right good these are very important because you need to understand the order in matrix a transpose a is not same thing as a a transpose right good so we now come down to this point remember from our guide we multiplied what a transpose by a right good so we are having a 3 by 5 matrix multiplying a 5 by 3 matrix therefore the product is what a 3 by 3 matrix right which means we are going to define a 3 by 3 array so we have one two three one two three so this is a three by three array right good so we have equal to m mold which is what returns the matrix product of two arrays right good so we double click so it's actually a transpose which is this comma then we have a which is this right good so we have control shift enter so you now see the uh, matrix product of these two right good now the next aspect of the um, formula is what um a transpose a inverse right good that's the inverse of what um the a transpose a right good so we come back here so we just since it's a three by three matrix the inverse will also be what a three by three matrix right good so we have equal to m inverse which is this it returns the inverse matrix of a matrix stored in an array so this is our array we highlight the array to be this and then control shift enter right so this is actually the inverse now this um is the this is the end of the left hand side of what the or the a part of here the a part of the formula so the next part of the formula is what a transpose l so we still come up here this is our l and then this is our a transpose right good so from the guide here um a transpose l will return a three by one matrix and this is the reason why so we define a three by one array 
so we have one two three and then we have equal to m mold which is this a transpose l right good so we have our a transpose we have our a transpose to be that and then the l to be this right so we have um control shift enter right good so this is now the product of those two matrices so moving forward since we have gotten this we are now going to have a product of that um inverse with this one right good so it will now be a t a inverse that's a transpose a inverse multiplied by what a transpose l right good which is this last product we just got so we still come up here so this is the inverse right good multiplied by atl so what is the dimension the dimension will be what a three by one right good so this is the three by one so we still define a three by one array somewhere here and then we have equal to m mult which would be this so ata inverse which is this inverse multiplied by what atl which is this so we still have control shift enter right good so we have this now you can decide to stop at this point because these three values would provide correction to these three observations right good so if you say you want to stop at this point and then you now have them um, okay let's just copy this and then paste it somewhere here yeah? right good so if you say you want to stop at this point you can now apply this um, correction to these values so it will now be equal to this minus this so we have um, 50.0215 if we decide to drag down to autofill so you would have what um, 50.0215 50.0475 and then 50.0025 right good so now these three values will now serve as what the um adjusted values of what um these lengths right good the adjusted values of these lengths l1 l2 and l3 so according to the equation we should um, determine the adjusted distance of ad therefore it will now be you adding these three together and then you can rightly see the sum here as it has been indicated here on excel to be 150.075 so you can still do same by saying sum of these three which is what the 150 point what um zero seven five so this is the adjusted length of what the of the observation right good or of this length ad right good so remember you can still proceed as we have done here to apply ad which is what um from the spreadsheet our a is this and then our d is this right good so you multiply a by d you get a value and then you add it to what to your l right good so that will now give you um five corrections that you can now apply um to these other observations right good to the five observations but since what we need is just the um adjusted length of ad we can stop at this point so we have exhaustively shown you how to solve this problem on adjustment computation where you have um, different distances and then you are trying to find the adjusted value of what um, a particular line right good so it was a combination of um, excel and let's say writing it out manually right good so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye